What is up guys and welcome to another video. We are out here on Lake Sawmill, the sun's shining, looks like a storm's coming in, so we must be in Orlando. But all about today's video. So the other day I was editing a reel and it was a super slow-mo shot of my gate into one ball, the turn at one and my cut off to two. And as I was editing this reel and trying to match all the timing and colors and music and all that kind of stuff, I kept watching my gate shot and my line into one ball. And it kind of brought up some memories of when I was really working on my 38 or 11 meter line length. And this was a 38 off video. So I quickly want to show you this now. So as we watch through this the first time, notice how much of my body is actually going around the boy. It's barely the knees at most that are actually going around the boy. And this is 38 off here. Again, watch the boy line. This time notice how late I actually get outside of boy width. I trust the process and trust that I'm going to get to my point. And this is something that I think a lot of people don't even talk about. It's more of a mental cue than anything. Once we get to that 35 off or that 38 off, so 12 or 11 meters, we're not going to get our whole bodies around the boy. There's not enough rope for it anymore. We are literally only going to be getting our knees and our feet around that boy. And this is where things become challenging and why so many people get stuck at 2 at 38 or 2 at 35 often is because we're just not ready for it and we're just not used to it. This is especially important when we're just learning the pass. Obviously, we're not used to the line length. We're not used to the speed, the width, the pull. So when we first get there, we're going to be a little narrower than we should be. And it's something that we have to kind of get used to. I'm not telling you to go out there and hit some boys and start reaching out for things that we shouldn't be. But getting used to the fact that it is only going to be our knees at most going around the boy, especially at 38, can be a little bit of a challenge. And in terms of a little bit of technique to this, so as I want to quickly watch this video again, notice how I'm not stressing out about being outside the boy width. Notice how I have two hands on, how I'm just standing up on my ski and I'm keeping my hip direction outward bound and I'm keeping everything just moving away from that handle. And this can really show to any line length now, not just the 38 off, not just the 35, that if we're trying to move and we're trying to pull and we're trying to get outside that boy, it's not helping. We need to trust that we can get that edge change going at the right time and we're still going to be moving outside to boy width because a lot of people pull long, a lot of people pull too hard, a lot of people start rushing the edge change and trying to fling off the handle me included on that one, but it can be a real big challenge to trust that we're going to get there. So watch this video and it'll show you and the whole movement out carries on for such a long time. And if this didn't happen, then the 38, 39 or 41 line limits would not be possible. And just to finish off, I want to show you this video super quick. So this is a 41 at Swiss. I ended up getting a three out of this, but look how close we are to that boy on one. This isn't the best gate, it's a tailwind, I'm freaking out, it's like my first big pro tournament, but I'm literally millimeters outside that boy. And this is not me telling you to go out there and start killing yourself to try to get these boys, but just trusting the fact that you're out there, your two hands and you're moving away from that handle that whole time, you're still gonna be getting to boy width. Don't be freaking out just because the view gets different, especially as we shorten the rope at any line length, but most importantly, once we start hitting that 38 off, you are no longer gonna get that lovely view where you're you're coming up and you're outside the boy and you know you're going to be around it. Especially 39, that's no longer the luxury that we have. We've got to trust that we're going to get there. We've got to trust that our technique off that second side is keeping our direction and we're moving as we come off that handle and you will get to that boy. So next time you get out there on the water at any line lengths, but this video obviously is kind of catered for that 38 off, 35 off line length. And next time you're out there on the water, if you're stuck there, I want you to really just trust Trust the fact that as you come into the boy, you're no longer going to see everything, okay? Trust that you are going to get your width. Trust that you are going to get it as you move with those two hands. You do not need to force that width upon yourself and trust that you're going to be able to move confidently through that boy. We're not waiting for ourselves to get to boy width before we start making a move in. We're keeping confident, we're keeping tall, and we're moving before we get to that boy. No just skiing past it, no just waiting for that width to come. It will come, you have to trust the process. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you, and I know this one's maybe to a little bit more of a niche level of skiers, but things can be taken for every level of skier. So I hope you have a great day, and I hope you guys have a good day on the water. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.